Hey y'all! I'm Finn Graves and welcome to my video blog. This video blog is called You're Not Special and I'm here today to tell you why you're not special. So, so a little bit background on the concept. I've been reading a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and I'll put a link to it below. But so this book and this concept like really did a lot of releasing some of the boulders and the barriers and like the weights on my shoulders just by reading and listening to this book. So I got it on audiobook, so by reading, I really do mean listening, so sorry about that. Um, and so I listened to it and about half of the stuff that he says is really interesting and compelling and really like resonated with me and gave me some concepts to work with. So the baseline concept that I came away with from this book was you're not special. So go back a little bit in time and think about in the 80s. In the 80s when I was growing up, one of the big fads for child rearing was self-esteem stuff. You get self you get a sticker for like coming in 15th place, like everybody deserves to be great, blah blah blah. And then fast forward 20 years and all the media represents is the best people. Right, so the best and the worst of any situation. And so we're inundated constantly with all of this best and worst situation style stuff. And so when we're doing that and we're thinking to ourselves, oh my God, I have to be the best or the worst, we oftentimes will think about and work towards being the worst. So we have the worst problems. Our life is the most terrible. Everything is super shitty. And in reality, that's not how things work. Most of us are average. Most of us are mundane. Most of us go to work and go on with our lives. And if we're lucky, we find somebody that we're in love with. And, you know, we get to hang out with them and our group of friends and we get to entertain ourselves. So, but with the way the media works, with only putting up the best and the, and the worst and most terrible things, it creates this stimulus in our brain that makes us think, oh my God, well, I'm just not enough. I'm not cool enough. I'm not bad enough, you know, like all of these different things. And what this book did in thinking about the concept of you're not special, it released this, again, this huge burden off of my shoulders. Because most of the time I'm sitting there going, okay, how can I make the most work? How can I create the best work? How can I blah, 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 blah. And what it did was let me be like, oh my God, I could be average. You know, I could be like everybody else. And each of us comes together in this unique makeup of cells and environment and familial connections. And so we are each of us unique, but at the same time, constantly striving for this like higher and higher and higher and higher goal is a huge stressor on our brains and on our bodies and our emotional and physical and mental health. And so I found it really great. Like this whole last month I've been thinking about and reworking and connecting with the concept of not being special. It means my problems aren't special. There are hundreds and thousands of people out there that have the same problems that I do, and some of them have solved them. And it means that the way I form relationships isn't special, so there are concepts and ideas and feedback so how I can form better relationships. And my successes and failures are not special. Other people have already undergone these things, and so there's a wealth of information out there. And I personally am always researching and checking out different things and like connecting to how I can do things better, blah, 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 blah. But one of the things I do is I always push myself to create more and more and more work instead of just being able to like settle into a piece and just like really take it slowly, which a lot of other people do. And so like working within that concept has just really been like this like whew, relief for me. I've been able to like slow down and to be like, God, other people don't produce a hundred pieces of work in a month. They maybe produce one piece of work in a month. Huh. Okay. How do they work around that? You know, people don't like run a video blog and blog and update their social media constantly and have a marketing calendar and blah, 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 all these different things. They go to work and they update their social media occasionally, you know, and it just like, it just whew, did a lot for me. And so one of the things that I did this last week was to look through things and reread, you know, my like artist and illustrator's handbook for how to do things and how to get published and different stuff like that. And so I'm like, there's formulas out there. And I've been, I've known there are formulas out there, but oftentimes when we feel like in our heads, oh, we're unique, we're special, we're awesome. You know, we expect to be, it's, it's like a high level of entitlement and we expect to be, have handouts with things. And in reality, most of the time what you get is what you work for. And I know that for me, I work hard and I work a lot, 
but maybe I just need to be working smarter. And so that whole concept from the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, has really like worked with me and allowed me to be like, you're not special as a mantra and as a connection and as something that just like feels good to me. Did you ever have anything like that um, in your life? Because that concept, right, like you're not special. It feels like it's an insult, right? But it's not an insult. It's like this, whew, you can take off that special cape, throw it away. And you know what? Just be yourself because who you are is who you're gonna be. So you might as well work on that person. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, comment below if you've ever had anything like that happen to you or if you just wanna say hi. I look forward to seeing you next week. Okay, bye-bye.